Hello and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Make sure to smash a like and subscribe if you're new. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers before the end of the year. And we're trying to upload a video or a stream a day. Uh, trying to upload a video uh, during the Euros when there's three games a day is hell. However, there is no excuses. No excuses to not upload because there's always something to talk about. Uh... This this today's video isn't about like a news headline or anything. It's just about what West Ham need to do. Uh, and there was a bit of uh, disagreement in the comments yesterday. Yesterday's video talking about Lopetegui. Go and check out that video. Uh, but one thing we can hopefully all agree on is that one of West Ham's priorities needs to be a striker. Now, I've seen rumors of Garassi, uh, the I think Stuttgart guy. He's been linked with Chelsea, been linked with Dortmund. It looked very likely that he was going to move to Dortmund. Um, however, I don't know whether the manager uh, change is going to change that. I don't think it will. Because uh, I'm going to assume that they've had that deal agreed for a long time. But there's also this Atletico Madrid guy whose name is like very long. This Samu guy. Um, Fabrizio reported that they apparently rejected a bid of £35 million two weeks ago from West Ham United. Obviously, ex-West Ham employee has also confirmed interest in this guy as well. I don't think we're going to go back in for him if we're going to go above €35 million, Euros, by the way. €35 million, Euros, not pounds. I don't know what the thing is for that. I don't know what that is in pounds. Um, but yeah, strikers definitely need this year, guys. Um, we've been here before. Pretty much nearly every year we've been here before, haven't we? Uh, nearly every year of my life have we needed a striker at West Ham United. Um, I'm going to do a video uh, talking about the striker curse at West Ham, whether that's closer to when we sign a striker or not. But we've gone through, you know, talking about the rebuild, talking about how Lopetegui and Steiden, the Steiden era, how they can turn it around at uh, West Ham, how West Ham need a rebuild in, in multiple positions. But striker is definitely a priority. And the reason why Mikel Antonio needs to stay. He needs to stay. Danny Ings needs to go. Uh, not to any fault of his own. Uh, however, it just wasn't the right signing in the first place. I don't believe he's going to go because I don't know who wants him. Unless Southampton come back in for him, which was the club that was deemed interested as they were about to get promoted to the Premier League. But... We, we need a striker, and I, you want to believe that because we have a different manager, that because of it, because it's a different system that he's going to play as well, that it could work signing a new striker and knowing how to build around that striker. Because when we had Skamaka, Skamaka probably would have worked under Lopetegui, uh, but Moyes didn't know how to use a different type of striker, you know, the Halez, the Skamakas, the Danny Ings. Uh, anyone that wasn't uh, Mikel Antonio, uh, boys didn't know how to build around because it's the same system all the time. Just someone that runs the channels. Lobotecki likes Antonio, but we do need a striker. Whether Ings is there or not, side of striker. What we need, guys, if we want to get back into the European places, we need our own version of like a Watkins or an Isak that Newcastle and Aston Villa have. That main man that they can rely on. Week in, week out, that one that's going to be challenging golden boot. That's the type of strikers we need. I don't know who that is going to be, but I'm also not a director of football. I'm not a technical director. That is all down to Steiden uh, to identify that option or Mark Noble, because sometimes Mark Noble gets involved with that. But it's all down to them to do that. Um, Obviously, I've seen links with Tammy Abraham again, but... I don't believe those links are as concrete as it was under David Moyes. Uh, apparently, he, uh, according to Matt Law, he's going to be linked for around twenty million move to the for a return to the Premier League. I could see him going back to Aston Villa if John Durant goes to Chelsea. I, I think that would make sense in my head for him to compete with Ollie Watkins. I actually think that would be a good signing. Uh, would I take Tammy Abraham? Yes, I would. But my only worry thing would be the injury. The big injury that he had would worry me. The reason why that would worry me is coming back with a big injury is very hard to, you know, try and show that you're the same player as you once were. I'm not saying Tammy Abraham was the most clinical striker ever. He did. He was prone to also missing a couple clear-cut chances here and there. Um, but I believe there's a talent there. I believe that he's 
just below good enough probably to challenge for the golden boot not outright challenge for the golden boot but we, i've seen worse players challenge for the golden boot in the premier league before but it's also we need a striker that's going to score 15 the 15 goals uh, antonio at max will probably score 10 a season um prime antonio start a week in week out probably not 35 year old antonio but 35 year old antonio can do a job um can still stress defenders out but Antonio needs competition. He cannot do it on his own. The poor guy's been doing it on his own for a very long time. Even the season when we had Skabaka, he was injured for a lot. And when he did play, uh, he, not only was he not given, really given a run of games, he was not getting the ball. He was not getting the ball. He was not getting any service. Uh, but it, wasn't, it just wasn't working. But now we've got a striker that actually wants to play. Uh, a manager that actually wants to play. And I'm not trying to hear Bowen up front. Bowen's a right winger, and Bowen will get 20 goals from the right wing position next season if we are going to play on the front foot. And that's the most confident I've been in a West Ham player for years. However, a striker is still important. A, a striker that Lomboteki would like. Obviously, another striker that is always going to come up is a Yusuf Enesiri. I don't think he's the guy that's also good enough for West Ham to... You know, be our version of a Watkins and Isak and Solanke. Because even though we are probably interested in Solanke and Ivan Tony as well, they are both going to be expensive and both going to be rivaled by other clubs of interest. By um, like Ivan Tony would be the dream. Uh, Solanke would be good as well. Ivan Tony would be the dream signing. But Yusuf and Esiri linked to West Ham for about four or five years. Apparently, Sevilla needs to sell and Sevilla are on a bit of a downhill spiral. Uh, he was uh, Lobotegi's former player. They both played. They, they, obviously, Lobotegi managed Sevilla against us um, in the Europa League and then Esiri played those games. He's uh, He will score goals a little bit, but he will also miss chances. He will also like miss a few sitters. I don't think he's that good. Um we have been linked with John Duran in the past. I don't know whether we're going to go back in for him. Also, I'm pretty sure Chelsea are going to get him. Like, there's the, like the striker market is not great. However, you need, you got to find gems in this market. you got to find people that maybe are not expected to, you know, be sold. Or players that are, are from random leagues that can make the step up to the Premier League. That's This is what scouting is for. we got to use our scouts properly. So I don't know who the striker is going to be, guys, but then like the only one we've bidded for is the Athletic and Madrid one. So and I don't want a player that's like, oh, he can play at striker, but he also plays in multiple other positions and we're gonna use them as a you know, a utility player. I want someone that is an out and out striker that just suits the system of what the manager is trying to do. And hopefully is given a chance if they have a bad first season. Just my opinion. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Social media is over in the description if you want to follow me in the email for any inquiries. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers. Uh, so please subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.